Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Chapel Forge. We went to Blessings of Hope when we were doing a quick trip to Lancaster um, these last couple days. I've talked about Blessings of Hope many times. Basically how it works is you go volunteer with them for a few hours, they give you a voucher, and then you take that voucher to their store and you can buy everything in the store for 60 cents a pound. So I've had a couple people ask me some questions. Do you have to get a voucher? You have to get a voucher, you have to volunteer. The whole point is that you are blessing other people people helping them with the organization helping with their nonprofit and then in return as a thanks you get the voucher to be able to go shop so you have to volunteer in order to get the voucher um, you can go to their website and I'll link it in the description where you can go sign up to volunteer um, you can volunteer in their store or you can do where you like are bagging apples or bagging radishes or sorting things stuff like that um, you can take your kids. They have certain volunteer times where you can take your kids. Um, the cool thing is, like, if you are a family of five, for instance, and you all go volunteer, you get five vouchers. Um, I've also gotten several questions. Can you go shop as soon as you're done volunteering? And you can. Um, we live about two hours from where you would volunteer and where you would shop. So I have a lot of people that have asked, like, near where we live now, you know, could I go volunteer and then go shop to make my trip worth it? And you 100% can do that. Um, so those are just kind of the logistical things about how you get the voucher. I'm going to show you what we got this trip. Um, we got a lot of really fun stuff. They often have organic stuff. Um, they have lots of like Whole Foods, stuff from Whole Foods, um, lots of organic. It's just, it's crazy how much crunchy type food that they have. There's plenty of junk also, um, but lots of like kombuchas and like crazy like clean drinks that would typically be like three four five dollars a bottle stuff like that lots of bulk so they always have like hard red wheat and rice and uh, tapioca pearls and things like that so and oftentimes when you go you find something really cool you better stock up on it because they may not have it next time this is the most comical thing that i think we bought this trip um i've talked about chips before and veggie straws and all that kind of stuff so we got an entire display case of veggie straws. So, as you can imagine, a bag of veggie straws might weigh a couple ounces. So if you figure if we're paying 60 cents a pound, we maybe paid a nickel, maybe a dime for a bag of veggie straws. Um, we got the Zesty Ranch brand or Zesty Ranch flavor. We got the Zesty Ranch flavor. When we order it from Sam's Club or pick it up at Sam's Club, they only have the plain, typically, in the big bag. Um, they had the Zesty Ranch. We like them. Obviously, they probably use some sort of like a ranch seasoning. Um, I don't. It doesn't have any MSG or any of that kind of stuff, but it does have sunflower oil and I think safflower oil and maybe canola oil. I don't love all of that stuff, but, you know, as I've mentioned before, I talked about this on my Sam's Club haul video. I try to avoid sunflower oil and all those things as best I can. <clears throat> but it's really hard to avoid them in chips. So um, we got this. Everyone will be excited to have these. We can keep some of them in the truck. Um, Matt and Nell can pack some to take hiking. They don't weigh anything. Um, and we'll just put this in the pantry and it'll be a great little addition to um, what we keep in stock for chips. We don't keep a ton of chips on hand, but, you know, we do keep tortilla chips and things because it's great to like whip up a really quick meal. So yep. this is funny. And we have the whole display case. All right. So they always have a ton of like, there's almost a whole aisle of plant-based type stuff. And we certainly, we eat dairy and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, Zad and Matt are like moving firewood or something. Um, anyway, so we got this plant milk cheese spread. It's actually super clean. Um, it's made with cashew milk. It does have sunflower oil in it, but it is organic. I don't know, does that make it better? And we got marshmallows. Um, but anyway, I got six of these. It's a cheese spread, so I'm excited. We can use these on, um, you know, crackers or with breakfast or whatever. All right, we got some of these made good bars. Again, they're pretty clean. Um, there's a few things in them that I'm not like over the moon about, but they have pretty low sugar. Six grams for a granola bar is really not too bad. I would say this is more of like a dessert. We don't like have this for breakfast. This is more like a you know, it's late and somebody needs a sweet treat kind of thing. So we got three of these, these are pretty expensive. So, and again, these weigh nothing. I probably bought these like an entire box for like a dime. All right, so next thing we got, a lot of times I just get like flats of this stuff because why not? It's so much easier to carry home. So we got good culture cottage cheese. Yes, I can make my own cottage cheese, but this is pretty inexpensive, you know, at 60 cents a pound. I'm guessing these are, 
I don't know, maybe one of these maybe weighs half a pound, um, but it's 4% milk, milk fat, which is great. It's clean, there's no junk in it. This is really good, like really good cottage cheese. We really like this brand. So I was pretty excited that they had these. All right, um, not something I typically get, but if you saw my video on making hot cocoa mix, I got some marshmallow bits for the kids and well let's be honest probably all of us because it's just a fun little winter treat and I've never made marshmallows I don't know if you can make the teenies I guess you can make bigs and then like cut them up I'm not sure anyway we got some marshmallows and again so cheap like how much is this way a couple ounces probably paid 20 cents for that so that's awesome got tons of different this is from Trader Joe's how much do you think this hummus is at Trader Joe's probably a lot um so we got some of that um, I got some cauliflower hummus again. So they have tons of like, if you're vegan or uh, plant-based or any of those kinds of things, they always have, and these are clean. Like they're not like vegan food. That's like got a bunch of weird ingredients in them that you can't read. Um, you know, this is just like cauliflower, non-GMO canola oil, sesame seed paste, spices, whatever. So pretty excited about this. We love just adding these in to dinner. Um, the boys will use them and make like their own sauces and spreads and whatever. So I always grab tons of these kinds of things when we're there. All right, Primal Kitchen. Love stuff from Primal Kitchen. Really pretty clean. Um, they don't even have like sunflower oil and this kind of stuff. Avocado oil is its base. Um, love these. I have not mastered mayo. Frankly, I haven't given it a lot of time, but Chipotle lime, um, amazing. We're gonna be going on a road trip. I think this will be out maybe after the road trip. Um, but I'm gonna take these with us and a couple can, take one of these and take a couple cans of tuna and a couple cans of chicken. That way while we're on the road, I can just pull like a glass bowl out, whip up some chicken salad or tuna salad on the road because we are not all about eating the crap that you can get on the road. And this will be amazing for that. All right, we often find Lara bars or like I said, we got those made good bars. Lara bars are super clean. We love having these on hand. You know, decent amount of protein. Um, the added sugar is only four grams. So these are something we always keep on hand. Also, we love having these on hand for Matt and Elle because they're really lightweight and good for them to have in their packs while they're hiking. These were new to us. These are cacao pecan medjool date bites. Um, again, no added sugar at all. Just medjool dates, pecans, cacao powder, and cacao nibs. So these look delicious. Um, only three pieces though as a serving. But... They're clean. Again, this weighed nothing. We probably got this for like uh, five cents maybe. So, uh, so, so cheap to shop here. If you are local to Lancaster PA or even within like an hour or two drive, totally worth going and volunteering some of your time. If you homeschool and you're looking for like a civics type um, project, perfect for that. All right. We have gotten some fun cheese things there. They have a great case of like really expensive. Like this is from Trader Joe's. This is called Baked Sheep's Milk Ricotta Cheese with Herbs Day Province. I don't whatever that is. But um, again, super clean. It's just the sheep's milk, salt, some herbs. This is going to be delicious and I'm very excited. So we got three of these. All right. Something we've never found there before, but I was really excited, was sun butter. So we love sun butter. We typically get the, I can't remember, maybe the roasted or we haven't had the creamy. We don't have the red one. We have the yellow one, whatever that one is, the one they carry at Sam's Club, which if you can't find this somewhere else, Sam's Club is pretty cheap. I think you get two of them for like maybe eight or something. So that's a good place to get this. But we found these, so I was really excited. We can never have enough. Why do people have to drive so fast? Um, we can never have enough of this on hand. All right, so I got three of these. There's another one in the box. I got three of these. We love this. This is also plant-based. It's made from almonds, um, but super, super clean. We love this. Matt specifically texted and said, hey, can you get this if they have it? Um, they had tons. Guys, if I had a reefer trailer where I could just like have this walk-in cooler situation, we're getting there. We're not there yet. Um, I'd be coming home with like so many more of these. So these are delicious. If you've never had it, try it, especially if you don't do dairy. Great alternative. All right. If you've been following us for any amount of time or you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, or whatever, you know that Matt and Zad do most of our cooking. Um, Elle and I do maybe some sous chefing. I do most of the food preservation. Elle will too. We just, you know, she's new, so she doesn't know a lot of that stuff yet. But anyway, Matt and Zed both love bougie butter. 
So they love bougie butter. This is Buttercraft Provisions Fire Roasted Jalapeno Butter. Um, we all love, we don't, Matt loves super spicy. The rest of us like spicy, but maybe not like crazy spicy. Bud likes spicy too. But this would be amazing. This is called Finishing Butter, Grilling and Finishing Butter. So I am excited for whatever the boys are going to come up with this. And I think we got like 20 of these. And I am certain, I didn't look up the price on this, but I am sure that they're expensive. All right, this is cashew milk uh, cream cheese. We've gotten this brand before. It's very clean. Again, if you, and we do eat dairy, by the way. We just love this other kind of stuff too. Um, so this is really good if you look, again, looking for like a dairy alternative. If you have allergies of any sort, this is another great place to go. They have a lot of dairy-free, gluten-free, all those kinds of things that you might be looking for. They had a ton of like, if you don't do meat, um, they had a bunch of like tempeh and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, also again, more primal kitchen. So I got three of these, I think this is jalapeno lime, vegan spread and dip. Um, super clean. I think there is, I don't think there's anything in this that I wasn't that crazy about. Um, yeah, no, it's clean. So excited to have this anytime we find like fun tea matt loves tea of all kinds so this is probiotic black tea so i grabbed this for him i know there's like all this hubbub about clean tea dirty tea moldy tea whatever we're doing the best we can i mean we grow a lot of our herbs we haven't grown any here yet or really we've grown some we haven't grown a ton here because our garden's not up so for now this kind of stuff we'll have to do Okay, another new thing for us is these Frusion Pops Cocoa Crunch Fruit and Nut Energy Bites. Not something we've had before, not this brand or whatever. Um, but basically, it's just a bunch of really yummy things like pumpkin seeds and dark chocolate and dates and whatever. So again, another like if somebody needs a sweet treat kind of clean thing. There we go. I'm sure also, again, like a lot of this stuff is so expensive if you buy it at the store. And I talk about this all the time, but like... If you don't have Blessing of Hope around, I totally get it. But there are ways to save money and be savvy with money. Um, you know, whether you have a Benton Dent store near you or Sam's Club or things like that. But I mean, man, if you, again, if you are close, it's worth it. So I got an entire case of this Colonel Seasons popcorn salt. So it's just, I didn't really know why, what made popcorn salt, popcorn salt. Um, it's just that it's finer, I guess. So I did get a case of these. We enjoy making homemade popcorn. And not that we can't just put like normal uh, salt on it because we totally can. But this is just salt. Now it's not like, you know, Redmond's real salt. And I'm sure that there's not a ton of like great extra minerals in it or whatever. But as far as a treat, you know, we make popcorn like a few times a month, maybe for having family movie night or something. This would be yummy on that. So um, got a whole case of that. So six of those. Okay, so a lot of times you can get stuff like, like I've shown like the cottage cheese and whatever, you can get like a whole case of things. And most times I just do because it's so much easier for transporting. Um, my kids are way beyond um, teething biscuits, but these are really great, just like a granola bar to have in the car. Um, I'm sure they'll love them. They're organic. They're very clean. There's really nothing in it that gives me pause. Um, so I got a whole case of these, six packs of these. And again, this weighs seriously like two ounces. I bet I paid 60 cents for six boxes of these, which is crazy. So we got that. Um, I showed, I think I showed this before in my other Blessings of Hope video, but our entire family, well, I don't love them, but I don't love juice much in general. Um, but everybody else loves them. These are great. Um, this is raspberry, blackberry. I think there's another, there's another flavor of these they normally have. Um, it's, it's super clean again. So excited to have these. We use these for drinking. We add our soda stream water to it course we use it for drinking we use it for that but we also add our soda stream water to it to make like a soda like a fruit soda um we can use it to make gummies so lots of things we could freeze dry it and make powder out of it lots of things that we can do with this all right because we're going on this road trip i don't buy triscuits too often these are whole grain wheat canola oil and sea salt so again with the stupid canola oil but um I, I need i wanted a few things to be able to take on the road trip that like we could make the chicken salad or the uh, tuna salad on the road and be able to eat it like pretty quickly without a ton of mess and dishes and whatever. So I grabbed four, five something boxes of Triscuits. We're going to be gone for about a week and a half. So we'll take a few boxes of these with us. Um, Matt loves these like funky probiotic. 
not stevia filled because I don't I hate stevia barf um this is turmeric tonic garden of flavor so we got several of those we got the grasshopper one which is like just like a greens mixture and then this is a brand we haven't gotten before it's called recovery water something tart cherry so they always have tons of this kind of stuff so if you're someone like this has 100 calories in it and no added sugar just the fruit juice um if you're someone that likes like flavored drinks like you just can't do water all day or whatever that man blessings of hope is an amazing place to get like this whole bottle has 70 calories in it you'd get all the benefits of the probiotics it's just fruit juice um like some of them have they have like a little bit of salt in them or whatever but these are and this stuff is so expensive so you know again i don't know this even if this weighs a pound i paid 60 cents for it so we always stock up on this kind of stuff everybody enjoys having this kind of stuff on hand we drink a ton of water like everybody probably drinks at minimum half a gallon to a gallon a day in the summer probably more than that but everybody likes having something on hand that's not just water um we all like milk but you know milk is at 150 calories a cup so it's not like while well, i would love to sit and drink raw milk all day i don't want to go back to 350 pounds so i will keep these kinds of things on hand when i don't feel like water all right so we also got this pop and bottle it's called so this is like a super concentrate coffee so i was kind of curious to take this on our road trip i've never seen this before it comes in a super cool glass bottle and this is what it looks like super like trendy looking cool bottle it makes 16 cups of hot or iced coffee and the only thing in it is purified water and coffee so I kind of want to take one of these. Um, I'm a coffee snot, if you like haven't picked up on that. I always have coffee around. So they tell you like how to make an Americano, iced coffee, latte, or a you brew you. Also got lemon, basil, Vietnamese simmer sauce. So if you follow Matt at Fellowship of the Trail, you know he's on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the things. Um, you know that he is very interested in Asian cuisine and we are interested in eating Asian cuisine. So he always loves when we come home with these kinds of things. So these look like this. They're super, super clean. Um, they only have like water garlic, palm sugar, lemongrass. Um, so it has palm sugar, but like zero added grams sugar. So it must be a minimal amount. Anyway, all right. So that is what we got from Blessings of Hope this trip. We also got, a, this has nothing to do with Blessings of Hope, but we got a commercial meat slicer for my parents. They had it in storage. We have a smaller one that they gave us several years ago that we've been using up until this point. Um, something's going on with it. We're gonna have my dad look at it, but I was like, why don't we just swap? You guys don't really need the commercial one. They weren't using it anyway. They were happy to hand it off to us. So we have the commercial meat slicer. So maybe I'll bring you a video about that. That'd be kind of fun. We had those two gigantic hams that I showed in the um, making the most of your whole hog video. So we might slice that down and make some sliced ham to keep in the fridge and in the freezer. So I'll probably be showing you that at some point. So if you have questions about how Blessings of Hope works, I'll link the other video. I think I have two other videos that I've done from Blessings of Hope. Um, I'll link those in the description. If you have questions about volunteering, how the voucher works, um, you know, I often get a lot of questions like, I can't find anything there when I go. And I think it's kind of a mindset thing. Like, sorry for the loud cars. Um, I think it's a mindset thing. Like, we definitely go in there like super open-minded, but our family loves funky food, funky drinks, you know, if it's pretty clean, um, we are willing to try it. So um, I definitely go in there with an open mind. Don't go in there with a grocery list necessarily because I feel like that's the fastest way to feel disappointed when you go there. So I'll drop all the helpful links in the description so that you can go volunteer. If you wanna go watch the other videos and see what else we've gotten there, I'll drop those down there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. All right, so you know that I can my own juice, so we can apple juice and cranberry juice and peach juice and cherry juice and all the things. But when I can find them at Blessings of Hope, I also stock up on them there. So we got four of these, I think these are half gallons. Yeah, uh, four half gallons of pure cranberry juice, not cocktail, just cranberry juice. Um, it's just that and like apple juice and whatever. So no added sugar, that kind of stuff. Again, we can use it to make popsicles, gummies, add it to soda stream, you know, carbonated water or whatever. Um, they had pure unsweetened white grapefruit juice, which just has white grapefruit juice in it. No added sugar. So we got those. That's the first time I've had gotten them from there. And I got 
pineapple juice, 100% pineapple juice in this big can, and then six of these little cans. Zab loves pineapple juice, um, but it's not something that, I mean, I usually, I mean, as you know, we don't go to the grocery store, like ever. But um, it's not something I typically buy because it's so expensive. So I was pretty excited to find that. I'd like to, this is a next year project, and if we find more pineapple juice at Blessings of Hope, but I would love to do some mock pineapple uh, like with zucchini. So I did some mock pineapple zucchini powder in the freeze dryer this year and it, it went really well. So basically I dehydrated zucchini, soaked them in pineapple juice, freeze dried it, made mock pineapple powder. Um, I'd love to do the same thing, but can it. So we'll work on that next year, but I was pretty excited to find those juices. I really try to keep that kind of stuff you know, in the pantry again, because sometimes we're just seeing something different than water and, um, we can use these to cook or bake or make little, you know, fun things like popsicles or whatever. So I love to have that stuff on hand.